The Barbados Workers Union and the members of the Liat Division are extremely pleased by the announcement made by the Prime Minister that we are on the cusp of being able to resolve the long outstanding matter relating to severance and outstanding payments for the workers who gave service to Liat 1974 Limited during its many years of operation. The union understands that in terms of the payments being made, that it is a recognition by the government of Barbados of its financial and moral obligation to the citizens and workers of LIAT. We, in turn, look forward to the discussions promised in the coming days with the finance, Ministry of Finance to finalize these payments. The workers have reached out to the union and we'll be meeting with them shortly to go through with them the details as you receive them in terms of the process and the payment to be made. The union is cognizant that this matter should not have reached this stage from the point of view that from the onset that proper regional discussions would have enabled us to reach a far better position much earlier. We see that there's a lot of lessons to be learned from this ordeal that has transpired. And we believe that it should be used to look at the operations of other regional operations and thereby putting things in place so that we do not have any such repeat of this matter. We do note that this settlement does not in any way bring resolve to the entire matter surrounding the Liat 1974 Limited as we have throughout the region a number of employees who would have also given service to Liat that would still be without um, any form of compensation. And the Barbados Workers Union therefore calls on the other governments within the region who have not yet made overtures to their respective unions to do so with the intention of also settling this matter across the region, thereby bringing relief to all workers who would have given service to the regional airline. We believe that this would be the right step in terms of future discussions towards restoring and improving regional travel arrangements throughout the region. And this is from the point of view of obviously workers. We believe that it is time for this region to sit down and have an honest, open discussion on the matter of regional travel from the point of view of the regional citizens and not the respective governments. We strongly believe that it is time that the region comes together and create using the smaller airlines that operate within our region to form a global airline, or should I say a total regional airline that is based on the needs of the region and therefore can provide the benefits to all and not to some. These discussions should be anchored, as I said earlier, in what is really needed to support and guide the region and not a matter of where the airline would be hubbed or where the airline would be based. We believe that that is the only right thing to do. And in doing so, we should be able to create other opportunities for these displaced workers who have tremendous skill in this industry to be able to re-engage, to help provide what we all have seen, or to, I should say, to help fill what we have seen is a clear void in the region since Liat 1974 Limited has ceased to operate. We look forward to engaging in those discussions and lending our voice to help the region recover and to build what we believe should be a united regional airline across all territories that serve, that make up the Caribbean, and I would say going as far afield as Bahamas in terms of creating one space for us all to operate in and not dependent on other people or other countries' airlines to do it for us. I think this is the only next step that is feasible. The union in assessing the situation strongly believes that this was a financial and moral obligation of the government of Barbados to the people of Barbados who gave service to Liat. And we thank them for recognizing and accepting that obligation. The Barbados Workers Union in the coming days, while we seek to resolve the financial matters with government officials, will also be engaging our workers 
in discussions towards providing additional training and support opportunities for them as we seek to continue to do all we can for our members in the Liat family at Serve That Give Service in Barbados. Thank you.